Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll be there. Yes, sir. All right, thanks. Sunjay, get in here. Bring a camera. So we can record this for posterity or something. So remember the trip we went on to uh, Charlotte the other day? Yeah. And I just couldn't get the deal put together because, it, you know, the cars were a little rough, but they were also nice. But he wanted me to then drive four hours to... Uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, so that he could show us like 30 other cars, maybe even 35 cars. But as nice a guy as he was, he's old school. I mean, I'm talking flip phone. He mailed us in the lead and he faxed us a couple of things. Oh, jeez. So he has no uh, technology uh, in his pocket. Uh, so he ended up finally getting a guy to take the pictures and he just uh, sent them to me and I called him back and we're going. Uh, Knoxville, first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna call Big Chris and see if he can make it, but uh, I'm not sure. But you're going and bring some cameras because we're gonna film this. It's gonna be, if I get the deal done, it's 30 plus cars. He's got a 79 Lincoln Continental and a 79 uh, Lincoln Mark uh, with zero miles. Still oh, on the, on the never dealer prepped, never been touched, not even titled, still on the MSOs. He's got a 67 S code, uh, four speed uh, fastback. He's got, uh, a bunch of those entourage Lincolns, you know, the 60s four-door convertibles, and uh, just a bunch of other stuff. It's just crazy. Cool. Uh, so we're going to go try to buy 40 cars at one time. Why are you still sitting there? All right, I guess I'll start getting ready. Bring the cameras, bring the drone, bring all kinds of cool shit. I want to make fun. Off we go, Knoxville, 30 cars, maybe 40. Get the car ready. What's up everybody, so we landed in Knoxville, we're going to see some pretty cool cars, at least in the pictures I've seen, and I bought Rick Chris and, and the Millennial, he's the one holding the camera. Euro cars in. You don't know nothing about that. I got this. What's up? What's up? Good morning, everybody. How you feeling, Big Chris? I'm feeling pretty good, thank you. You don't, you don't look too well. <laughs> I think we might have had a few too many beers at the Irish pub last night, but uh, check it out. We're going to uh, a building. I guess it's about six or seven miles from here, and uh, there's supposed to be 35-ish cars at this location, including a 56 Lincoln Mark II and uh, two 79 Lincolns that have never been titled and are 100% brand new. I'm all about the 56 bucks. Well, whatever, dude. It's freaking cold. I'm gonna wait inside. You tell me what the car is here. It's like being in England. What's up, everybody? So, uh, me and Chris are uh, uh, awake and alive here in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. And behind this door, well, or maybe this door, I don't know, a door is uh, supposed to be about, uh, I don't know, 25, 30 cars. Uh, we saw another 10 cars last week in uh, Charlotte and uh, we're trying to put a package deal together. So if you're watching today and you're paying attention and you see something you like, well, give me a call. Hi, what's going on? Hey, Richard, how are you doing? Did you bring some help? Yeah, yeah. brought Joey here with me to help me help you cars. COVID high fives. So what's the deal, man? We saw 10 cars in uh, Charlotte. What's in here? We've got about 30 for you to look at and add to your list. 30 cars. What do they got? What do they got? Show let's me. Let's go. All right, let's go in. <laughs> Loving it. Woo! There's a lot of cars. Did somebody like Lincolns or what? Yeah. I, I guess we'll just start here and go around. Or where do you want to start? Start doing work our way this way, then we'll come back around. So this is about a 78 or 9? 73, I believe. 73. Um, this one had the 
bucket seats in it, the sunroof, but they had a leak in the roof in the other building and it stained it. <laughs> it is bucket seats. Yeah, and a sunroof. All right. Well, this is rougher than a stucco uh, bathtub, as yeah. my friends would say. <laughs> and the van? Ah, uh, that was a company vehicle. The, the Mustang doesn't go with the package. Yeah. Yeah. And then here we got... 67. That's a 67 four-door. 67 four-door. It's complete inside. Looks like a whole complete car. It's got one piece of trim over here missing. Bottom on the roof is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but I can see it bubbling underneath a little bit a little bit it's a 69 two door we did a this body style on uh, fast and loud once and slammed it on big wheels and brakes big wide box this car's been wet it's just like dampness has had some mold in some of our good fellas right there dude Golly. And then a Buick special. Yeah, everybody needs one of them in a Corvair. <laughs> Nobody needs either one of them. True. <laughs> <laughs> but they thought they needed it one time. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's access. I that looks like a fresh beer can. Is that yours, Big Chris? It may be. <laughs> <laughs> This is a 71 Fleetwood, and it's a California car with California emissions on it. California emissions, that's about 78 horsepower. All right, so this one's got a cover on it. Please tell me it's better than the other ones yeah, we've been looking at. Yeah. 65. Whoa, pretty crazy color scheme. It's kind of your color green. All these cars got mold. <laughs> Been down in the building some, but they clean it up. So that's a 65? 65, 65 four door. Boat anchor. Yep. <laughs> You're right about that. Golly. You have an old you have, you have, car. You have an outlet for this all? Uh, we'll find one. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of guys on Harry Hines that buy this. <laughs> 62 and 63. 62 and three four doors. Yep. One's Complete and not too rusty, and runs complete and rusty. Hey, where's that? Holy cow. 58 convertible and 58 parts car. And then this is another 58, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is a this long is a long car. Yeah. Rock City. Look at that, Chris. You can fit in there. If you got leg room for you, Chris. Yeah, man, that's why I like these old, this old stuff. <laughs> yeah, she fit in. He's bombing. And the LS motor and Chris would be riding with his arms out the window. Well, I can get in there and about 30 other people. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Another 58 four door. Two door. Yeah, it's a two door. But tell me if you've seen the old style luggage rack like that. Wooden, got the rubber stoppers on. Look, look how far it is from the door to the back seat. It's long distance. You can fit in the back, Chris. You can fit in the back on this one. <laughs> it's like a barge. <laughs> a barge. Oh, old rubber stopper. Yeah, rubber stopper. <laughs> Make sure we take that off before we ship it. <laughs> and another one of those Buick specials. Yep. Now we've got two things that are worthless. Now we've got uh, another 66, 5. 69. 69. Another 58 four-door, worthless. Goodness. I wouldn't even know what to do with these things. I mean, are they parts cars? Is it rare? I know the 58s are kind of one year only, aren't they? Yeah. Let's look at these two parts cars over here. You want to? Well, hold on. Let's get to those in a minute because that's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> Let's look at all the stuff. Let's get me good and disappointed before I go <laughs> looking at the good stuff. So another four-door convertible parts car. Big C1. And then this is a Premier, like a 56. Yeah, I had one of these once. Smells like our Uber driver. <laughs> is, that, is that the only one of these? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only. Okay, so what we got here? 
Watch that hood on it. Well, this one's better. This air this one still hot, has dude. the original suede, but a lot of suede on the inside. Wow. That is a big ass car. Yeah. It's solid. Looks like original paint. Checked up a little bit, though. Yeah. You know, it never ceases to amaze me. People spend all this money restoring these cars and uh, they get the paint all perfect, the metal's all perfect, and that's not the way they came. Uh -huh. I mean, they didn't have that ability in the in the 50s and 60s or even the 40s to make them that perfect. Yeah, they're still using four-door, leather. This is a Chris mobile. That's like sitting in an armchair, look at that. Half vinyl roof, half paint. So cool. Spout covers are wicked. Yeah. That's really cool. And then a Corvair. Wow. Yeah. We got a, a whole set. Chris, a two door and a four door. All we need is a convertible now. <laughs> this one's pretty clean. Yep. I'll tolerate that. Is that like champagne or something? Some kind of gold. And no vinyl top, which I like. I prefer no vinyl top. This car looked as nasty as MD over there until it was washed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I believe that. Look at that. The door panels. The door panels are right. Look at these door panels. 1969, 70. Looking wicked. This is a, what, what's it on that one ad? This is the car your dad bought when he hit it big at the racetrack <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> hey, um, while we're down here, you want to do, you want to go, you want to pile through this shit and go look at that GT Rancho back there. Is that included? Yeah. It's not on the list? Why in the hell would I want to look at it if it's not on the list? I didn't know it wasn't on the list. I if thought it was. It was on the list I got. Shaker hood, GT, missing some trim. Rusty. Shift on the column. It's cool. Oh, somebody bought a top, a uh, 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 replacement top for it already. I guess it's got a lot of rust. Oh, it's got holes in it. It's gotta be rare. All right, so here's a 56. I cheated on this one a second ago when the camera wasn't watching me. I was trying to figure out exactly what happened to the interior. I can tell you like, what happened. Had a raccoon like, got here, and they had that window down there. It was been a pissed off raccoon. Yeah, the seal plate and the floorboard is um, still there, screwed down to the carpet. See the gold plate in the carpet, most oh, yeah. of them are yeah. missing. So this 71 inspection over here, is that when this came off the rug? As far as we know. Just. Original paint, door shut. Now that's got a little, little what we call a whiskey dent there. But it's neat how they hand formed all the stainless for the back of the doors. And the hands off back here today. It's cold. <laughs> so it's a non AC car. Right. And it looks like somebody was working on the brakes. Yeah, they took the brake booster off of it. Huh. That engine down there is for the a spare engine for the 56. This one looks like it'll buff up, Chris. No. It's good for parts with convertibles. I think that might be wishful thinking, buddy. Chris, can you go ahead and sort the keys for each car, please? <laughs> All right. We walked past this one. What's this one? It's non vinyl top. Hey, this doesn't look too bad. Is that yellow? It's white, when you. <laughs> it's crazy. It looks yellow from the back to get it out. Paint's real like heavy on this one. Well, maybe. Maybe it looks original paint to me. Yeah. That's what you want. This ain't a Lincoln, dude. What is this? Yes. Yeah, Buick Riviera. Convertible. Uh-oh. Looks like the raccoon got in here, too. Oh, yeah. I guess it's just dust. These cars, I just don't know. They always kind of fascinated me, but they never impressed me. White baskets, white roof. There's even a whip on the back. A whip? Whoever, what is a whip? CB. CB area. <laughs> whoever, Magnetic uh, CB antenna. Whoever had this was dope back in the day. They were the daddy. This is 66. 
56 convertible. Now we are getting to it. This one looks nice. The problem with these old cars is they have hydraulics, pneumatics, yeah. electronics. <laughs> I mean, they got like every system in the world and they all got to function together. Oh, they won't open or close. Yeah. All right, so check this out, everybody. This is why we're here. 1979 Lincoln Continental and 1979 Lincoln Mark. This now tell me about these. This guy brought them here new? They were brought here new and he bought them in June of 79. He went by the dealership and they were unloading them off of the car hauler. Okay. He had them bring them straight here. They've never been moved outside or moved since then. Is it 1979 air in the tires? It is. What? If you look at the sidewall, you can see they've never got low. All right. There's no wrinkles in that. Now this is the Mark V. Mark V. It's a matching color pair too. That was the oddity of it. Still got the plastic on the doors. This car has 10 miles on it. 10 actual miles? 10, 10 actual miles. miles. Seat belts still got the loop on them. Yeah. They have not seen sunlight since June of 1979. Formats are still in. There's the window stickers. Oh, very cool. What's that, Chris? I don't know, dude. It's I'm, important uh, information. It's important information. Chris should know. <laughs> I don't know if somebody's going to jump out and bite me, you know what I'm saying? There's some wiring. What in the world is this? Plug socket, veneered. Oh, it's, it's a visor transmitter. Garage door opener. Garage door opener from 79. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at this. <laughs> the Continental door opener. <laughs> I had never seen one of those. How cool is that? That's pretty rad. I mean, I don't know what I'd do with it, but I've never seen one. For a second there, I didn't know what you were, you know, kind Neither of accoutrements gone, came in. It was the 70s, man. You don't know what that might have been. <laughs> pretty cool. What's the paperwork over there? Those yeah. are the window stickers. That's the window stickers, I know. This car's got four miles on it. This one's got the lure. No way. Probably yeah. can get to it the other way. On the other side, better. Is look at that. Is that green velour? No, it's tan. It is tan. It's like champagne as well. Wow. Cool. And this car's got four miles on it. Four Ever paint the the uh, overflow on the radiator isn't even discolored either. That's so cool. Look there on your driver's mirror, the thought chalk marks from the factory, valve covers. Look on your uh, mirror there. The thermometer. These cars got smog too. So yeah. you can check out in here and uh, while this you're driving it, just show. look out the window and see what the uh, the actual temperature is. <coughs> Open that door. It never went through dealer prep or nothing. Mm -hmm. You see all your paint stamps and everything you still on them? Yeah. The spare didn't come with a rim. I guess they got it at the dealership because that one doesn't have a rim in it either. Has that one got the same Morristown mm -hmm. yeah. dealership gig on it? It does. Yep. It's got the license plate on the front from Morristown. Huh. That's the only thing they did at the dealership was stuck them too long. Well, I got to start doing some mathematics so I can try to figure out if you can afford the fuel to put in. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, so check it out. We're out here in uh, Tennessee and Knoxville is where we're at. And uh, I'm having a bad hair day, so don't put anything in the comments. Uh, we've got 279 Lincolns, a, a Mark and a Continental that have never seen the light of day since 79 when they were put in this building. One has four miles on it, one has 10. Uh, we've got a couple of good convertibles. Uh, a couple of three good four-door cars. We've got a lot of parts cars, uh, a lot of 58 parts cars, which is interesting because it's a one-year car. They just made this weird monstrosity of a thing in 58 and then changed their mind uh, and went a different direction. So uh, we've got a couple of uh, two-doors here, four-door Cadillacs. We've got some Corvairs for all you Corvair enthusiasts. Uh, you know, start saving your pennies, try to turn them into quarters. But uh, I don't know, man. 
Uh, I got to do some math. Why don't you get some pictures or do something, millennial camera dude? Let me and Chris look around. We're going to be here a while. Did you say beer? Maybe. Yeah. While there's some cool stuff in here, there's some not so cool stuff. And I'm not so fired up as I was yesterday on the way here. I mean, even this Mark II, it doesn't appear to be too rusty, but that car's only worth 10 or 12 grand. That car's worth six, that car's worth five, that car's worth, this car's worth nothing too. The original paint or not, that ain't gonna buff up and be a survivor and it's restoring. I don't know, man. I don't know if the push is worth the show on this. You got so many cars that are dismantled. There is some gold in like four or five of them. But... These three right here, and that's seventy grand. Uh -huh. Okay, that makes it eighty. That makes it ninety. Those two. Oh, uh, that makes it a hundred. It's not right, it. Show, show another ten in there for some choice parts if you can find them. But by the time you move this stuff, I don't know. And then you got, what do we got over there at the other place that we saw? We got the, the 230. Yep. So now we're at 115. Uh, we got the, the Mustang, we're at 125. We got the- uh, Was there another Lincoln there with that? that no, there was a Cougar convertible and that other Cougar hard top. So now we're at 45, 50, you know, let's call it 160 with everything at retail price. Uh -huh. Crush this shit, don't move it. And then you got to move the stuff that you're gonna sell. So now we're in at 200. And we're not making any profit. Yeah. It's not gonna work, dude. I gotta unravel this if I can and get out of here. And I kind of told him that I'd make a deal and I don't back up our deals. Hey, it's the car world, man. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, man. Well, I don't wanna be that guy, but if I can put on some track shoes and run out of here, <laughs> I will. I will be running with you. Um, You got some nice cars, but you got some not so nice cars. And then you got some junk. Uh, I mean, I know there's a world when the 58s and parts cars would work because, I mean, they're a one-year-only type car, but those aren't even hardly worth moving. Um, and you got the two really nice cars that are new. I think those are worth, I don't know, 25? What do you think, Chris? 30? You know? I think they're 25 to retail, but they still need clearing up and they still need moving, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's and it's odd. You'd think that something like that would bring a ton of money, but yeah, it's just, they just don't. Yep. You know, the, the green one is pretty cool. Hmm. What are you thinking? Well, I don't want to tell everybody out there what Doug's number is. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if we can get to that number. Right. I mean, I'm looking at a grand a piece to move the ones I want to move. Try to quickly sell maybe on the interwebs some of the parts cars and or whatever's left has to get out of here in the next two weeks. So just crush it. And crush ain't bringing nothing right now. No, that's for sure. I mean, there used to be a time when these cars were heavy enough they were worth crushing, but they're not even worth carrying down to the crusher. Um, am I missing something that you're seeing, Chris, or what? No, man, I just, I, 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 don't, I don't want you to buy it, uh, to buy the work. You know, if, if it ain't worth doing, it ain't worth doing. You know, that's, that's the car game. Yeah, and it's all or nothing. Uh -huh. But, you know, there is a 230 up there that we saw in uh, Charlotte in a 67 Fastback and an XR7 Cougar, and another Cougar convertible. If, if there was another new car like the other two or another two good cars, it would be the swing, but I... I don't know, man. It's tight. I don't think we can get there, sir. Well, well I understand. Business I came business. all this way. And I appreciate you showing us around, well, letting us too. drink some beer. <laughs> you know, because you're driving. So. <laughs> Always. Since I didn't do the deal, do I got to pay like a fee for you to take us back to the hotel? No, nah, I think we can ride you back to the motel. All right, so there you go. Uh, Long trip, two long trips. We went to uh, Charlotte last week and then out here to Knoxville this week and we're just that close. I mean, you're talking like 40 cars, uh, maybe 42, and then minus 10 that are junk. 
So 32. You know, a wise man once said, if a deal doesn't feel right, don't do it. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So either stands up or it don't. It does not add up. I mean, you're looking at $1,000 a car to get to Dallas, and then you gotta get them cleaned up, get them running, and you take the cream off the crop, there's a hundred grand, but there's not another hundred grand there or another hundred grand. So, wasted trip. Well, not really wasted. I get to spend time with my good buddy, Chris, and drink some beers. <laughs> Where's the beer assistant? There you go. Oh, thank you. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Ah! A swing, actually two swings and two misses, but uh, we didn't get it done this time. I'll be traveling a lot more and uh, trying to buy some cars. If you got some collections, make sure you give me a call and uh, maybe I'll come out and drink some beer and steal your cars or not, because I didn't steal these. <laughs>